Okay, so let's go ahead and look at problem, whoops, three. So the length of pregnancies are normally distributed with a mean of 268 days and a standard deviation of 15 days. What is the probability, keyword, that a pregnancy lasts between 250 and 260 days? So we're just used to hearing people are pregnant for nine months, but as an average in terms of days, it's 268 days. And then you never would ask, what's the probability of somebody being pregnant exactly nine months, even if that was 268 days? Remember, we always want to kind of ask a range, whether it's in between two numbers or above and below. So just as every problem, I like to start by restating what I'm given. The mean is 268 and the standard deviation is 15. And what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find probability. So I'll get my number in the middle of the table. And it's between 250 and 260 days, which over here I wrote an interval, I'm sorry, no, an inequality notation, just because sometimes maybe you'd see the question asked that way. I always like to start by drawing my bell-shaped curve center it over the mean of 268, and now I need to draw the numbers 250 and 260 below. Both numbers are smaller than the average, so I know both numbers are going to go somewhere on the left, and they need to go in numeric order, so I'll do the 250 first, and then the 260. I drew these little diagonals so I can see where the numbers are, but since I want the probability of being between those, I shade in between, and I can see that I've shaded less than the left half of the curve, less than half. So I know my answer is going to be less than 50%. But to find the exact number, I now need to do my calculations. So first we'll take the x of 250, convert that to a z-score by taking my data value of 250 and subtracting from the mean and standard deviation that I was given from this problem and I get negative 1.2, works out to a nice, easy to use number. Now I take my next data value, x equals 260. Put it into the z-score formula, 260 minus the mean and standard deviation, and in this case, I get a decimal number that keeps going, negative 0.5, 3333 off the edge of my calculator. Remembering that we can only use z-scores that go two places to the right of the decimal, we're going to be using z equals negative 0.53. That last digit did not need to round up. So now I'm ready to go in the table. So first I'll go to row negative 1.2, and then of course it'll be column 0, because the last digit is a 0, so 0, 0. And I find 0.1151. Remember, that's just giving me this area in this left tail that's clear that I don't want. So now when I look up negative 0.53, so row negative 0 0.5, column 03, I find 0.2981. And that's the area from this 160 all the way to the edge, but that means it's also including that little white corner that I don't want. So if you remember, whenever you have to find the probability between two z-scores, we always subtract the bigger table value from the smaller table value. Do not subtract z-scores. You only subtract table values. So 0.2981 minus 0.1151 gives me 0.1830. And as a percent, it's 18.3%. And I'm ready to at, answer the question, what is the probability of a pregnancy lasting between 250 and 260 days? And the answer is 18.3% probability.